Hello. I wasn't sure what to make for this week's video, but uh, you guys told me what you wanted. You want to know how to counter rebound. I had a couple of different people ask me this question. Rather than answer everybody individually, I made a video. Well, first of all, rebound isn't a defense. It's a deterrent. Uh, rebound is actually easy to defeat if you are just looking to punish somebody. All you have to do is bring a bigger army power. And with, if the defender is using a flesh wall, it can actually be very devastating for them, not you. One experimental counter that uh, my alliance has been trying out, and of course now that the cat's out of the bag, I might as well have a video on it. A good counter for rebound is rebound. So in your time between kill events or attacks or whatever, you can build up some uh, low tier dreadnoughts like you would for a flesh wall. Um, I think the sweet spot for cost and what you get out of it is the tier threes, the level three dreadnoughts. Of course, the, the bigger the dreadnought you can send, the better. Do keep in mind though, that you are not going to emergency operation these attacks. These uh, units are going to die in the attack. They're a sacrificial attack squad to soften up the enemy. Now, the reason you want to use Dreadnoughts is not just because they have more hit points, but also because they attack after Vanguards and Primaris. So what you're doing here is you're sending in Dreadnoughts with high hit points and a full rebound attack. So that's Garadon, uh, Alistair, Caster, or maybe Narcis if you've got him leveled up high enough. So you basically send your defense with nothing but sacrificial dreadnoughts. And their defense force will kill itself attacking your dreadnoughts. So you will thin out their vanguards in Primaris. Which will make it easier for your actual attack. Now the dangerous thing about this, of course, is if you're using a rebound defense, you're leaving yourself open to attack. Uh, you can use speed boosts, and if you're crafty, you can get up a void shield. But do keep that in mind. And if you go this route, I would suggest doing it with a bunch of people as a swarm attack. That way it becomes harder for them to counterattack everybody. They have to choose who they're going to counterattack. That's if you go that route. If you're not going to go that route, and of course that's only going to work in thinning out their Primaris and Vanguards. Once those are out of the way, then it becomes a stand-up fight. There your best is to do a rally. Your rally leader should bring speed debuffs. And the reason why is speed is initiative. Rebound heroes have no speed bonuses at all. So they attack at regular time. You're going to take damage when you attack. That's just the nature of rebound. So the idea is to make it so that the only damage you're taking is the rebound and nothing else. So your three legendaries that have a speed debuff and you want to debuff for your rally because you want your entire rally <clears throat> to have a higher initiative to attack faster. And then only way to do that is a debuff. If it's a buff, it only affects the rally leader. So it's going to be Grayfax, Teleon, and I think the last one is Nyal. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, thankfully, Nyal, you get his his frags from from scan events. Yeah, I could I could certainly spend and get him leveled up, can I? So you get his frags from scan events now. So he's actually pretty easy to get up. Talion isn't terribly difficult. You at least get his frags from the Alliance scan, uh, Alliance Augur array. So you want to keep up with that. Grayfax is a little more difficult, but she's getting a little easier now that she's in the uh, Hero Rescues. So as a rally leader, those are your three top picks, but only if you have them leveled up high enough that their bonus is good. Otherwise, you're going to have to come down here to your 
weaker heroes where you have Tycho, um, I believe it's Praetis and Omnius. And as a rally attack, it's going to be better if you bring a weak hero with a strong attack speed debuff than if you bring a strong hero of any other sort. Because like I said, it's a rally attack. You want your whole rally to be hitting. You want every unit in your rally to attack before the enemy gets their first attack. Because if you can do that, then it becomes a one-to-one -one trade. So it's just a matter of bringing more power than they have in, in their base. And I'm going to show you a trick for learning somebody's army power, regardless of if they're shielded or anything. You don't even have to scout them. If you player, statistics, army power. So my alt has 17 million army power. And if I use a properly built rally, with speed debuffs, three speed debuff heroes on the front. My rally would only have to have I don't know, 19, 20 million power, and that would be a one shot. Now, of course, we would want to have emergency operation active because uh, we're going to lose 17, 18 million power in the attack, but it will succeed. As for rally joiners, your best is to bring a combo attack. And unfortunately, all of the combo attack heroes, their fragments are kind of scarce. And in the case of uh, Sanguinius, you have to be a blood angel for his to work. But uh, Samael and Mephiston, I believe, work regardless of your chapter. So the reason I say this is it's it's a proc, which means it, it works as a joiner. And Samael's strong because he gets two procs. And if you've watched my other videos about heroes, heroes that get two, two procs, especially if they're useful procs, are, are good to the point of you might want to consider spending money on them if you're serious. Oh, he's got dodge, and he's got combo. So in addition to having all of your troops attack first, uh, you can get a double attack. You can attack twice. So it's, it's basically a, a speed debuff that you can use as a rally joiner. Think of that as, as a 20% speed buff. And the next thing is you want to build for offense, not for defense. So you are attacking before they attack. So Dreadnoughts are out. Don't bring any Dreadnoughts. Preferably you want to bring Vanguards and Primaris because they have the fastest attack rate. So you could maybe even get two attacks as Rally Leader and as Rally Joiner with a combo, more than two. Likewise, um, I wouldn't bother building for dodge, even though <clears throat> Samael, if you bring him, he's he's got dodge. Like I'd, Ideally, you'd want to wipe them out before they get their first attack in. So the only thing you're thinking about is doing damage and bringing enough power that you can trade with a rebound. So Preds and Whirls, I would only bring those if you have really strong buffs for them. It's male buffs predators, but it's questionable if you want to bring predators because they have the slowest attack rate. They might, <laughs> if your speed buffs on your rally leader aren't maxed out, they might not get in their attack before the defenders get an attack. And that becomes problematic. So ideally you want to bring full Primaris or Vanguards and you want to build to whichever has the strongest buffs for you. Now, a next thing I hear is, but they have a flesh wall. Like, okay, well, a flesh wall is kind of scary at a glance, but 
when you understand the mechanics of the games, a flesh wall is actually something you can use to severely punish the person who's using a flesh wall, which is why I have moved away from a flesh wall. And the reason why, especially if you're 35 or 40 and troops are incredibly expensive, your hospital capacity doesn't go that high. Uh, you can you can get all the hospitals, all the buffs, and all that, but they're not going to cover a flesh wall of a half million troops. And your rally squad is four times your hospital capacity. So my total capacity is 105,000. 105,000 troops. I lose more than that, and they're dead dead. There's no getting them back. Not Not healing in the hospital and not for free from the reserve squad. This is where it comes to your advantage if they're using a flesh wall for defense and they're level 35, level 40. You want to split up into two rallies. One rally is going to be vanguards, strictly vanguards, and like I said, speed buffs, combo attack for the joiners. I'm sorry, speed debuffs and combo attack for the joiners. And you want that rally to be just strong enough to wipe out their flesh wall, wipe out all their dreadnoughts. So now you've, if they're stupid enough to have a flesh wall at high level, congratulations, you've just filled up their hospital and reserve squad with low tier units. That means your second attack, whatever dies, is dead dead. They've lost, they will lose hundreds of millions of resources in soldiers. They will have to rebuild all of that from scratch. Now, if you do it all in a single huge rally, uh, if you got two huge rallies, that's even better. But if you do it in a single rally attack, it will, the game will work to preserve high tiers over low tiers. However, if the hospital's already full, it doesn't kick out what's already in the hospital. It just dies. So hopefully that helps you out. Attacking somebody who has a strong defense, primarily with a rebound, is going to be an investment. Even with the upcoming hero that's got the rebound, um, anti-rebound, maxed out rebound damage taken reduced by 50%. So you're going from a 1 to 1 trade to a uh, 1 to 2 trade. You're still going to take losses. But you'll do more damage in the attack. This goes back to what I'm saying. Rebound is not a defense, it's a deterrent. So, go out there punish whoever you want to punish. Just make sure you got the resources to pay for the heals. Make sure you have your uh, emergency operation ready for your rally. Make sure your rally is built with the right heroes. So until next time, y'all have a good one.